All right, you guys, so this is what happens when you allow me and Miguel to go to an auction. We come home with some new little toys. So I got a new horse trailer, like I said in the title, and I'm gonna give you guys a little tour of it. So first off, I can literally go in my tack room. Like what? I already have my saddle in here. And then there's a bunch of different um, little hooks for all this stuff, which I love. And I could literally sleep in here, which I probably will be doing. Because <laughs> there's a little screen door too, coming over here. Okay, so then once you get onto this side, look at how, this is a three horse slant load trailer, which I absolutely love. And you can open up windows like this to give them a little air which is super good because I have a lot of anxiety about trailing horses, so it's good that they can vent. And then also, you can flip this all the way down and right under it, right here, it locks, which is so satisfying and I need that. So that's like the inside there. And if you come on here, this are we not obsessed we are so this is where one horse would go here one there one there for clayton he'll always be up here because you always want him as close to the front as possible and then you can also open up pretty much all the windows in here to vent if you want to so yeah this is my new horse trailer Kind of obsessed. I'm super excited. We're gonna be using this tomorrow because I'm bringing him to the primary school and I'm gonna be doing a little egg safety day with him. So super excited for that. I just wanna give you guys a quick tour of it. This was the big selling point right here. Quit your crying. <laughs> this is on on the back of the trailer. And I'm actually obsessed with it. I love that. <laughs> All right, guys, so it has been a long morning for me, Miguel. Miguel went to work Saturday. It's 11.30 right now, and I had a long morning, too, because I had to build the whole fence for my donkeys to go out. So we're going to go to the horse auction, though. I got my new trailer hooked up. Miguel just just getting his glasses because I'm looking for a little cold. Hopefully a cold, not a fully. But, yeah, we'll see what happens. No, not a big deal if I don't come home with anything, but... I would hate to like miss out on something if it was there so we're just gonna quick go and see what they have okay hopefully you guys can hear me there is the most gorgeous stud there and of course it's a stud and i don't know how old he is or anything like that oh he's just go the mane the bangs he's got a pretty good build on him he has a smaller back which i don't 100 percent love but then there's a little, little full, and I'm pretty sure it'd be sold with the mom. I would hope so, because it's, like, that little. Mom is gorgeous, if that's the one in with it. She's a cute little buckskin, pretty sure. Um, she's all saddled up, so. But, yeah, I don't know. The stud's gorgeous, but, he's, but he is a stud, and I don't know. He's not that, like, big, so I don't really love that. Um, but his his hair on him is just gorgeous so oh here comes another lady she has an empty trailer though <sighs> yeah so i don't know if we'll be coming home with a baby or not we'll see okay so all of the horses and babies i showed you guys they all went like way too high um which is a bummer because i think about the little mare maybe like literally every single day um, but I got Clayton, and I've just been really working with him. He's been doing really good. In five days, we're going to be bang, 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 <laughs> mounted shooting. So, super excited. I'm just hoping that he has a good mindset that day and is not a crazy feisty rocket knocky. But, on the other side, surprise, I spent more money on tack. Shouldn't really be a surprise. But, <laughs> I didn't buy a horse, so... I had money and I'm like, I'm not doing any good just sitting around. So I literally just got home like 20 minutes ago and I'm gonna give you guys a little haul. So I didn't really spend that much money. It was under $100. First thing, actually, it was like the last thing I bought. But first thing I'm gonna show you guys is this. Gorgeous. This would be for his coat to make him all shiny even though he has a gray. Okay, so I bought him like a whole matching tack set kind of. 
Um, and I almost bought a matching grooming bag with this too, but I didn't. So, I got him some bell boots. Hopefully these things fit. I got him a size large because he's got big feet. Um, here's the print that I was going for. He's gray, so, aka, like, white in our words. Um, so, I'm thinking that this red, reddish pink is going to look good on him. And then I also got a Latigo to match, of course. And then I couldn't leave then, so then I had to get an off billet matching that too. So, oh, and this kind of matches, kind of. I don't know. So, we got this rock picker. Miguel um, grinded this thing on, like, in between there, so that it can get smaller rocks yet. Because the arena is filled with rocks, so we've just been progressively trying to get them out using this big boy. It attaches to the bobcat, by the way, so that's like the bucket. Um, and it's pretty much the same thing. This thing is a bit bigger, though. But you can just put it on and off the bobcat. Alright, so we got first cut hay, and this was... Hang on. We had the longest day ever cutting hay in my life because... Our square baler had a bad tire, so we had to leave that here at home. So then we had to hook the tractor up to the trailer and then hand rake it onto the trailer, drive back home, feed it through the baler, and then once it got bailed, I had to load him up on the bobcat to bring him in the barn. Oh, I kid you not, it was like a nine hour ordeal out on the tractor in the blazing hot sun and then carrying and moving square bales. It was just. It was a bad day. Me and Miguel both thought that we were going to have a heart attack. Miguel was convinced. He's like, if we were going to have a heart attack, it would have been that day. So we're staying pretty good. So Mexi, my little roping cow, she had to go out in the big girl pasture because she kept jumping the fence with Oakley. So we put her in here and she's been pretty content. Now watch, she'll jump out right after I say that. But... She's in with all the other big cows. They're all back there somewhere. They're they kind of right there. Hopefully, and we need rain. It's so dry here. All right, I gotta get this vlog uploaded. I still gotta clean this clay install, do laundry, pack my trailer, chores. I got a lot to do, and I still have to work out. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe to the Friends Day Community. I'll see you next time. Bye.